All right, guys, it's now the next day. I ended up staying out pretty late last night. And we got pretty much everything wrapped up. And I still have quite a bit of deadener left. I believe I used, or I have left, maybe like one, two, three, maybe like seven. Seven sheets left of the 80 mil which is the thicker stuff. And then this 50 mil, I have three sheets in here and then another full box. I still got another full box of that 50 mil, so I have another 50 square feet. So I was thinking maybe using some of that 80, and I was thinking of doing a second layer in this area, because since the subwoofers are gonna be right here down firing, that will be the area where it's going to have the most rattles if any so i might end up doing a second um what's it called layer right here and i might end up doing right here in the foot on the floorboard um on both sides i might end up doing also a second layer on that as well we'll get everything uh, assembled start uh getting it look like looking like a truck again start running some RCAs, I'll probably go ahead and start doing the big three upgrade up here, doing the alternator, swapping out the alternator, swapping out all those um, harnesses and wire sticks and the wires and all that good stuff. So that'll be up next. But yeah, Dynamat, check that off the list. So let me go ahead and do, do those first few layers and then uh, we'll go ahead and start setting this uh, carpet back in there. some progress went ahead and with the help of the wife got the headliner in she had to come help me take the door off with the help of the jack and then help me guide this headliner in there uh didn't record it because she does not like being on camera but she doesn't know that i had it recorded when we did the sunroof but sunroof headliner is in now i'm working on uh zip tying up my cables and wires rerunning my wires for my dash cam and zip tying them either to the headliner or somewhere along the top that way they're not just stuffed in there how kind of how like i had them before so i'm uh, gonna take a few minutes and do that and then we should be able to set the headliner in place and put all the trim up there back on so that is going to be the current step starting to look more like a truck again you got the majority of the stuff pretty much set in place uh now it's just a matter of trying to figure out where i'm going to put this stuff especially the, like the amps like i mentioned i'm going to possibly see if i can put them under the uh console to where i can still reach the um connectors the knobs for the adjustment on the audio if not i might end up putting them actually back here but who knows we'll see um I'm gonna head out right now, get the 
family some breakfast and on the hunt for some battery terminals for on a Sunday because that is the one thing that I did forget to order. So with the post being sunk in like this, it's the same thing on that optimum battery. I need somehow to uh, be able to connect, connect the amp wire to that. So that is gonna be the challenge. So I'm um, gonna head out. So I'll be right back for you guys. Next clip. All right, so I am back from the hunt and the hunt was a fail. The only place that was available open was car toys and they wanted $50 for one terminal. So I ended up actually finding one on Amazon that which should get delivered today. So we're just going to have to wait for Amazon and see if they'll show up. But that'll be the last thing that I'm going to be needing. Oh, aside from the speaker pots right here. Um, hopefully they'll show up today as well. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and start uh, just gathering some ideas. Uh, just general idea. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to mount these amps because that still seems to be a little bit of an issue so the four channel here is not too big we can stuff that somewhere keep these off to the side got a nice little small amp got some some weight to it so obviously nothing can be set on top of the box because the seat will fall on top of it and i was thinking of possibly mounting them to the front of the of the box but being that i do have kids and they do climb in the back of this thing i don't want them to accidentally kick one of the terminals or the rcas and damage one of them so that won't be um possible and like i said i would prefer to have these somewhere where i can easily access um the uh the gains and all that so the gains will be on this side with the rcas the speakers and stuff are out this way so if even if i did try to stack them and put them in the console that even then i think it's still going to be quite a bit of a challenge even in the console so and the base amp also isn't too big but we got to find a location for these and like i said i do not i would prefer not to have them behind the seat and that would probably be the best option because i would have the most room available because like all this i could stack them up right here and that would be perfect uh just cut this uh foam padding off because there's really not good bit of space back here um or even over there or one here one over there either way would, would work but like i said I, I would really like to avoid having them behind that seat because that would be a hassle just to try to get to them in order to do the tuning and all that stuff so uh, i'm still kind of thinking about it kind of thinking about it so if anything i think last resort i'm gonna make some sort of bracket and possibly stack them up right there make some sort of uh brace out of sheet metal and uh could just kind of stack them up in there because we i will be able to if for whatever reason i need to access them and tune them i was thinking of cutting this out a little bit more and i would be able to access the stuff from in here so that would be an option right there but still thinking about it still thinking about it we're um not exactly sure yet but for now i'm going to continue finishing up the headliner getting that wrapped up just got to do the console visors and the dvd player up top and get that done and do the connections uh finish wiring up my running this little cable for the power to the dash cam right there and then we can finally begin on the actual wiring and amp install but uh we'll get to that when we get to that so let me go ahead and finish this up and then we'll see where we're going to mount these things. All right. doesn't look like much progress, but we got some things done. Uh, I think this point I'm at a stopping point where I can now finally begin the big three upgrade. I'm going to begin by taking out the battery, 
uh, uncovering this cover right here, taking the belt off, going ahead, putting the new alternator in and doing the main three cables that we got to upgrade. So I'm gonna go ahead and start, I'm gonna put this on a time-lapse and I'll explain the whole thing which is gonna go on here. got that set in place the first one that I want to do is updo the ground and from what I read it would be best to do it from the ground right here closest to the alternator do that to the chassis so that'll be my first and I think I'm gonna try to bolt it up onto this bolt right here that'll be the closest and then straight down to the chassis so gonna cut this up measure it and then put the lugs on it if I can because I don't have any sort of big crimp tool so we'll see how that goes all right well there we have it now I was planning to do the ground wire on this side from this bolt down to the strut tower right there but I'm not sure if that little washer right there is gonna keep it from actually doing anything so instead since we're really not running too big of a system I think I will be fine going from that ground right there on the block and same thing going straight down to the chassis right there so it's going to be a little hard to film and put this on so i will show you the results once i am finished all right so that took a little bit longer than expected but we have our big three wire coming from the back of the alternator over to the positive of the battery then we have Niña, just one. We have our uh, ground from the battery, or the, sorry, the battery, the engine block going down and around. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. And they go down there to the chassis. That's that one that's facing downwards. The one going towards the left comes up, over, and to the ground side of the terminal. Now, I am going to get different terminals since um, it was short notice. I was going to get some, but they ended up having the wrong ones and they were expensive. So I'm going to wait and get better terminals later on. But this will work for now. And then this is going to be the one thing you guys are going to make fun of me for. So, like the same reason, I don't have a distri good distribution block or um, a way to connect all of these wires to the positive. And most of the time, the, your better option would be to run your one gauge all the way to the back of the, where your amps are. And from there, do a distribution block like this to both of your amps. Now, just because I can, I'm gonna be doing it like this because I don't have enough zero gauge right now to go all the way to where my amps are gonna be. Plus, I don't know where my amps are gonna go. And instead, I'm going to be work, bo putting both amp kit wires into this di distribution block. That will go into their own fuse blocks, which will I'll make a bracket and mount up here somewhere. And then both of those wires will run all the way to the back. So this is the way I'm going to do it. I'm going to run with it, see how it works. So now that that's done, I think now I'm ready to start figuring out where I'm going to drill into the firewall and run my power wires because the only place would be right down in there which it's already cut because this did have some sort of amp wire on it before so that's already cut so that might be my better option just run both of the wires through there and then i'm just going to leave them in there because i don't know like i said i don't know exactly where i'm going to run them through but the big three is done so now we'll move on to the next step is running the amp wires all right, so this is what I was talking about. Keeping the amps in the center console since we're not gonna be having that Bose subwoofer in there. And whenever you can take these off, 
you got good access to the back if I ever need to check a fuse or something like that. Should be no problem. And just clip these back on, just like that. Now, let me take off the console back and show you how it's laying inside. All right, so here's pretty much how the amps will be sitting up in the center console. The only thing I'm concerned with is uh, airflow. I don't know if I'm. Uh, they might get, they might heat up a little bit too much, sitting in there. But uh, I think that's what we're gonna run with. And any cables or battery uh, positives I can stuff up in here. That shouldn't be no issue. Uh, I won't have to run a big uh, power cable. It should be fine to right there. I'm still trying to figure out where to run it through because I don't have enough space through over there. And there's really no room on this side either. But I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I think this is where we're going to end up starting with the uh, amp placement. So this will be the plan to start with. Uh, one thing though, the only thing I'm concerned about is having so much wires just wrapped up under here because obviously there's going to be three RCAs that are going to be stuffed in here along with the adjustment for the remote of the base amp and what else? Um, some of the speaker wire. The speaker wire shouldn't be too bad because it's going to be on the back side. But up here will be three RCAs plus all wrapped up and then the like I said the remote for the base amp so still trying to figure that out but i was thinking of maybe taking that whatever that amp is for the bows getting rid of that for now i'm thinking that might be our spot so we'll see might change my mind later on all right and we are officially done under the hood still waiting to connect my ground until we get everything situated we don't have any fuses in the fuse holders right now so that's all good ready to go Got my wires all zip tied up, nice and ran. Went through the boot over here, shouldn't be a problem. And we got plenty of wire to go. So, all right guys, well here is our current situation. The amps are gonna be in the center console. Uh, the only thing is I'll be able, to, I'm gonna try to get them tuned before I put the console in, just to make it a little bit easier. Um, current situation, all the RCAs are ran for the, from the radio. They're all right here, ready to wire up wherever, or route wherever I plan to. They are labeled. Uh, the ignition switch for the amps is in a kick panel over there. Let me see if I can get you guys a shot of it. Hold on, let me try to turn on my light. All right, so in the panel up under the dash some some from what i've read some of these trucks have the this plug in some don't and if you don't you can get it off of a 12 volt switch off of that pin right there on the very left lower left pin looks like it's number eight from what i can tell pin number eight there you go so that one is a 12 volt switch and it's the accessory switch. So even if none of your cluster and all that slid up, just for that first click, the radio will turn on and the amps will turn on. So now, give you guys a glimpse. Go ahead and put the key in. We'll turn on the ignition to the accessory. You see we got blue lights, blue lights. Whoops, there's a horn. And the stereo is on. And see, nothing is on, just the parking indicator. And then if I turn my switch off, the four channel takes a little bit longer to turn off the little light, but we are good to go. Radio's off. So that is all good to go. At this point, now I'm ready to mount the subs in the box, get those wired up, and run those to the amp. And the subs will be ready. Now, last thing we'll I'll be I'll be waiting for is those speaker pods uh, to get everything sounding right. Um, I will go ahead and run all the the wires for those door speakers, get those ready, and then the, leave the wires in the doors just hanging, and then that will pretty much just be ready to 
wire up when we get those pods, which will unfortunately be until tomorrow. Uh, today's a Sunday. I don't work tomorrow, but I do have an appointment with my wife to take her down somewhere. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it. I should be able to. It's just the doors. Uh, all that's left is doing the doors, the speakers and the and tweeters in the top, get those situated. So, uh, yeah, that's our current situation right now. Uh, the grounds. So the grounds, I again, I did this backwards. So I ran the ground from both the four channel and the uh, single channel to a distribution block. The distribution block to a one gauge. And that is the same uh, OFC cable, oxygen free copper that I got for the big three kit. And I ran that up and all the way around, drilled a hole right here through the floor. I had a grommet, a grommet kit. So this will be nice and tucked up away. And then if we go down here, I got it wrapped up in some wire loom and grounded right there to the chassis. Pretty much the same how I have it on the front from the battery and the engine to the chassis. Just ground down and bolted down. So that's all good, nice and clean. I'm gonna get some um, electrical grease, something like that, This I believe it was, to cover up the bare metal so it doesn't start to rust and corrode and keep that a good connection. So that'll be next on the to-do list for tomorrow, but everything is all set. So next, like I mentioned, I'm gonna be working now on wiring up the subwoofers. So that'll take quite some time, but we'll get it done. All right, well, now it's again the next morning. Last night, I actually finished up wiring all the speaker wires. Their wires are all ran into place. The tweeters are set in place, both sides. Um, I couldn't put them in here because this cover has two tabs on each side that's cut into the plastic. So if I took this off, try to put this in there, um, you would still be able to see those holes. So I just moved them up a little bit and I think that'll be fine for now. <clears throat> the regular factory ones, they're not gonna be connected, so that'll be fine. But anyways, uh, all my RCAs have been ran. The speaker wires have been ran, everything in there, <clears throat> all tucked up into place. That's pretty much where it's gonna be sitting. Um, later on, I will just have to fabricate some sort of bracket to, for them to sit on, because I don't want them to be all sitting on the carpet all the time. I want to lift them up a little bit. That way they have some airflow going up underneath them. But I hooked up the subwoofers. Those are already good to go. Tested them last night and they bang. So that's without even tuning them yet. So the subwoofers are done. Good to go. We're just waiting on the speaker pods, which I might have to go end up picking some different ones up today. Because it shows now that it's not going to be here till Tuesday. Originally they were going to be here Saturday. They couldn't deliver them due to weather, and I was hoping they would deliver them Sunday. They didn't show up Sunday, and now I checked this morning on Monday, and it says it's not going to be out for delivery. It's estimated till tomorrow. So instead of waiting, I'm just going to go searching around now and just trying to find those. But for now, in the meantime, um, I have an appointment later today with my wife. I'm taking her somewhere at 12 so in the meantime i've got about three hours i'm gonna go ahead and figure out where i'm gonna mount the crossovers so figure out where to mount these on the doors for each of the component speakers run the wire to the tweeters i don't know where i'm going to be putting the tweeters i was thinking of probably putting them in the door panel but the where I would like to have them is like right in here. That would be pretty dope to have them right there because that would be facing towards uh, towards me and get better sound out of it. So I'm, that's where I'm thinking. And then I should have plenty of room back there. If I have to, I'll cut this little bracket off. It really doesn't do much, more like a brace, but it should be fine without it. Uh, just trying to figure out where I can mount it now, uh, this box, the crossover, so I can uh, make sure the trim panel is still going to set in place and go from there. So it's just a matter of trying to get everything to align and set in place perfectly. 
I'm gonna set this one up, see how it goes, and then um, we'll move on to the rest. And then I'll show you how we're gonna end up setting this up. All right, I think that's where that crossover is gonna go. I'm actually working on, now I'm gonna drill this out because that's gonna be in the way since it protrudes into here. We don't wanna take away our sound detonator, so the only way to get these since they're weld riveted, welded on there, weld melted, I don't know how you would explain that, but just take a drill bit, drill lightly through that and it'll break off and it'll come off. Just yank it off. Yeah, I did have to put some force to it, but just like that. Now we can actually set this in place. All right, well, we have there our first door done on the passenger side. And that's pretty much the placement where I'm going to have my tweeter. And with these, you can actually rotate them around and point them wherever you want. So that will be probably what I would like to have right there. And I did do a little bit of... Uh, deadener on this I kind of half-assed it though not too proud of that so um, I'll do a little bit better on the driver door um, working on that next but got everything up here situated uh, I have my wire coming from my amp going in and then you got your line out for your subwoofer and then two of them I have two tweeter wires coming out because one of them is going up to the pillar tweeter and then this other one will be connecting to the small one on the door panel so we'll have we'll be running two tweeters off of it hopefully we have no problems with that but this door is done this is pretty much the same situation aside from on the rear doors we will be doing the same thing but not doing double tweeters so i'm um, going to wrap up all four doors sound that them put put the crossovers in it get those done and that now at that point we will be ready to um wait for those um uh, speaker pods or i'm gonna go pick some up but the uh, gonna work on the driver's side now all right well it's been a minute i had a i was out doing my wife's appointment deal but um we did find the speaker pods at a local car audio place where we were at so went and scooped these up while i was down there now everything else up here is already wired and ready to go every single door got the tweeters already mounted on all four doors and then the last thing to do is to put these adapters in there and mount the uh, six and a halfs and then put some foam pads that I have back there that are going to go uh, behind these speakers. But first, before I do that and button those up, I am going to actually attempt to use these tools. These are a crossover calibrator and a det distortion detector. I'm not going to go too far into it because this is my first time. I'm also going to be learning. So I'm going to go in here and see if I can get this done but since I have to use my phone in order to play the frequencies through the radio I won't be able to record it but um, I'll go through it give you guys a run through once I get it down and then we'll see we'll see how this goes so wish me luck all right well the door panels are back in all the speakers are wired up I just did a pretty good uh well a little bit of a sound testing here in the garage just with the doors closed and it sounds phenomenal i uh, the bass was just a little bit too low for my liking with the knob all the way up so i did turn that up a little bit so hopefully we don't burn anything with that but aside from that everything is all wrapped up everything is good to go now i'm just going to spend some time to clean up all the mess that i made here and put the console back in it both the seats full front seats back down put these trim panels back on put everything and button everything up and then we will be ready for a full road test tomorrow to see how good our sound detonator was i was getting scared for a second because we popped the hood i don't know if it'll come up on camera but we did have a little bit of smoke kind of coming up from under the hood and i was scared i was wondering what that was but it's actually what it is, I don't know if I'll be able to get to it here on the camera. See if I can zoom into it somewhere in there. But you see that plastic that piece of wire loom that's on the header right there? 
right there. So that from whenever I was moving this power wire around, all of this right here, like that, see how it just deteriorates as you pick it? So that stuff has fallen on the header. And while I had it running right now, it is just burning off of the header. So we're good. Nothing's burning right there. So everything's all good to go. I'm going to clean up, bolt, finish bolting everything down. And uh, we'll get this ready because I got to take the truck to work tomorrow. So uh, let me go ahead and get this finished up. And then I'll wrap it up with you guys whenever we, whenever I get all this uh, bolted together. All right. And that is a wrap on the interior Aside from the front panel on the dash, I gotta go pick that up tomorrow. But everything's all good to go. All cleaned, wiped down. I'm gonna go give it a test run. Um, I wanna see how good this sound editor is and see if it made a difference. So I'm gonna go take it out real quick for a little quick spin. See if everything's good. Nothing vibrates, rattles. And if it does, we're gonna have to fix that afterwards. But for now, it's time for a test drive. All right, that'll do it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the videos, and I will see you guys on the next video.